Greetings one and all, my name is Nick, thank you for joining me again as we slowly go through the Commodore Amiga's back catalogue. This one is a nice platformer game, well I hope it's nice, called Tearaway Thomas, published by Global Software in 1992. Now you must control this rather, well, weird or unknown creature, I don't know quite what it is, maybe it's some kind of devil. And over 50 levels, you must uh, divide it into 5 groups of 10, first one being Woodland here. You must collect a number of stars or gems before the time runs out and then jump through a hole in a tree, I think. Here we go, so gems required 15. You can jump and somersault by pressing the fire button and you must avoid all these nasties, okay? Good music, good graphics so far. Uh, I think the purple stars are worth more than the um, yellow ones. So we've got 13 gems to get, we must avoid these bears. You can't jump on them to kill them, I don't think. So it's all about your skills, but it looks quite cute, doesn't it, really? The sky looks graded in those bars, which is fine. What is this creature? If you know, then let me know. Of course, if you had this game back in the day, let me know as well. So there's the uh, exit, this way it says. Oh god, I've got to jump on this. Um, right. We've got two lives left. Time is nine seconds, there we go. So we only needed 15. So at the start, you get much more gems than you actually need. So 50 levels on this. So I would have offered great value for money. You wouldn't have completed it on your first go. So this is the woodland stage. I don't know what stage comes next. We might make it, we might not. Whoops, oh, that was a bit lucky. Right. I didn't read how many gems we needed. Hopefully it isn't, well, hopefully it's less than 16. I'm quite liking this. This is quite good. Nice animation when he hits these bears and other enemies. It's a little bit um, slippery, the controls, it's not overly precise, it does take a bit of skill, you'll be falling off stuff quite a lot of time. Let's get past this birdie. Boom, boom. The lives are in the bottom middle, as you can see, with that heart. Time is not overly generous here, so you can't hang around. Exit is pointing up, according to that sign, so we've got to keep going up and up and up. Right, there we go. We've done it again. Stage 2, world 1. Each world is split up into 10 stages. Good. I would have liked this as a kid, I think, back in the day. I would have played it absolute heaps. Uh, loading time is quick, um, nice music, nice graphics, addictive gameplay, but it's going to be frustrating at times, I think. It does require a little bit of skill, which, um, so I could be in bother here, but I'm trying to rush through to show you as much as we possibly can. The sky's a different colour on this stage, so it is getting brighter. Oh man. Oh no, this is not going well. But do keep an eye on how many gems you need to collect each time, which I haven't done. Who's that? Oh, it's someone that kills you. Look like Tweety Pie or someone. Curse you, Tweety Pie. I never thought I'd um, hear myself saying that. If you know what other games Tweety Pie is in, then let me know. Time up. Now, when you run out of time, you haven't got to start right from the level again, which is fortunate. You just start from where you left off, which I'm always a fan of that. So, one life left, or is it two? It says one, it probably means two. Probably goes to zero after this. Right, there's the exit, it's open. Oh man, Nick, oh man, see? Little bit slippery here. Need precision, we've done it. Gems remaining nine, time left 29. Hooray, on to stage Catra, or four. Stage four. Gems required 45, so it's gradually going up here. But we've only got one life left. Uh, I think I've got the hang of this woodland stage. It's, the gems seem to be all up in trees. We'll go left this time. What's that? Right, so it looks like the further you get, the more variety the gameplay and the obstacles are. I think we need to jump on that rope somehow. Right. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Look at that. Yes, good. So I do like that in the game. There's progression here where it's gradually teaching you the skills required and you can imagine, can't you, by level 50 you're going to be doing all sorts of stuff. So as a kid there was major incentive to go um, and complete it to get to the next stage, see what bits there are there. A walkthrough would be good. So overall I'm a huge fan of this game. Would I have played it a lot? I think I would have done. I think I would have done. It moves fast, animation is good, music is good. Oh and look at that, uh, um, sort of like a, a hang wire as well. Time up, or oh, is that me dead? No, one life left, right, here we go, this is it. This is your last life, Nicky. If you don't get off the stage here, then you're doomed. So you don't need to get all the gems. I don't think, what we needed, about 45 did it say, I've forgotten. We got 30, we need another 15. 
think the gems are worth the same amount you collect, but they're different in points for some reason. But points aren't important in this game, uh, really. It's all about just getting uh, as far as you can on different stages, as we get trapped between two bears, or is it two people dressed up? It's a bit hard to tell. Right, there's an X by the thing now, because I haven't got enough. Need three more. Like, there's, there's one. That's enough, surely. 45, wasn't it? Let's open. Get out of the way, bear. Good. Dun 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 dun. Did 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 did. Cool. This, it really moves fast. This thing. In terms of loading time, you're not hanging around at all. Right. So if I get off this stage, then it's on to um, the next world. So on my first go, I've almost done it. I can't guarantee you that I will do it, but uh, we've almost done it. Cause this is only one live level. Bom bom ba 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 bom. Du, 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 du. Right. Okay. Drop down there, that looks quite safe. Can't hang around. Yes, yeah, see, the problem we've, I've got now is with just this last life lab. So I run out of time. I can't afford to go slow. I haven't got the luxury of slowness. Oh man. I don't think I'm going to do this. But I can't get up there. I think you can jump on the exit sign if you need it, but I've wasted too much time. Oh, curse is blast. Right, we just have to throw caution to the. Oh no, this is not good. Great. Right, hurry up, seven seconds. This way. Well, it's nice to know that was the way, but it's game over. Oh, my, my bear stroke, devil stroke animal is deader than, well, deader than down there, really. I think we should have another go at that. Let's have one last go. Tear away Thomas. Great name. I don't think this game really got the plaudits it deserved back in the day. I only say that because I've never heard of it. Why have I never heard of it? It's a, it's a, top, it's a top platformer. It's unique as well. Not something quite like this. It does a lot of somersaults. Can't really compare it to Sonic. It's a different game. They're, they're both platformers, but, um, you know, Sonic didn't come out on the Amiga, but you, you know that sort of thing. So, can't do a direct comparison to that. Like some other games, like Zool, I suppose. Kid Chaos. Yes. Du -du 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 and Mr. Nuts as well. It's different to those ones. It feels a different game. I do like it when uh, they come out with a unique game that plays quite well. Right, I don't think this game had a sequel. If you know about that, let me know. What other systems did this come out on? It might have just come out on the Commodore Amiga. It might have been an Amiga exclusive. Who knows? Right, okay, so we know what to do now. So we should zip through. Can I get off the woodland stage? My thoughts are sort of like predicting uh, no. Right, get out of the woodland. Come on. I, I don't think this guy's got a name. Oh, yeah, he's got a name. It must be Thomas. If you're looking for other games with Thomas in the name, I think I did Thomas the Tank Engine Pinball. It's a little bit different to this. <laughs> Three tables of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. But that's really a kid stuff in that goes. This one is, well, <laughs> they're all kids, really, aren't they? We were kids back in the time. 1992. I think, I'd, um, I, think I was at college then. Right, uh, I think the main game I was playing back then was Test Drive 2. I did like my old racing games. I, I just like neglected the platform games a bit, really. I, I wish I hadn't done, but uh, there we go. There's just a few I used to play. Great giant assistants did get a lot of play. Um, it might have been a pirate copy, perhaps that's why. Uh, money was short, short of supply back then. The, the retro gaming catalogue, not just the Commodore Amiga, uh, on all systems is absolutely huge now. Spectrum, Commodore 64, I haven't reviewed some of them for quite some time, just because of time issues. But yes, so at the moment we just seem to be ruining ZX Spectrum, Commodore Amiga, Sega Mega Drive. So it's a bit, bit of a mix, the occasional PlayStation 4 one might zip in every now and again. Oh, come on, come on odd creature. I would have liked a two player mode on this one. Right, avoid Tweety Pie. Am I doing better than last time? I hope so. Do, 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 do. Uh, that, that music sounds like it's familiar. Was it written specially for this? Was it based on something else? Oh man. Oh god. Oh, I did land on Tweety Pie. Then. Oh look at that! A bonus stage! What's that? I think that's just worth points rather than anything else. Get through there. Right, so there's a few bonus stages on here to be found. And my time is up because I've wasted too much time on the bonus stage. Just keep somersaulting. Must get quite dizzy up here. Oh, all these damn birds! I think I'm doing worse than last. Oh, I'm doing worse than last time. Uh, I think I, I don't know if I'm going to get out of the woodland here, folks. 
If you have got out the woodland, let me know what stage does come next. Dun 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 dun. Stage three. Right, stage four. We just got this life and my last life left. It's possible. It's possible. Not probable, just possible. A bit like me winning the lottery. Right. There's the wire. Now this is when you start getting your extra moves. I'm sure there's other stuff you can do. Maybe you have to fly an airplane. Get the timing. Right, that's good. Right, we've got those stars. Du, 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 du. Best to let those bears go in a low dip before you do the jumps so you can get over them. There's no gun you can fire, so it's all about jumping and collecting, and that's pretty much it. And it's timing as well, and not being a twit, which I've been a twit a little bit. Yeah, I've, oh. Patience is a virtue. I've never known birds that just fly horizontally one way or the other, I think. And they aren't bears, are they? They're people dressed up as bears. Maybe they're out of work actors. Could be. Right, high ground, take that up. Oh, oh see, I was never going to get over that, and I've run out of time. Last life left. It, yeah, it's, it's a very similar story to last time for Nicky and his amazing gameplay. Yeah. Dear me. But it isn't about the gameplay, as we always say, to cover myself. It's the gameplay is often quite horrendous, uh, average or below average. It's all about seeing how the game played. Would you have gone back to it as a kid? This one, well, yes, for sure I would have done, uh, despite the frustration. And, um, yeah, it's a good game. And we should like, share the knowledge as if we were talking about it in the pub or over a glass of your favourite drink round my gaff. Yes. Right, stage five. Okay. Yeah, 50 stages. This would have taken you ages, wouldn't it? There's probably some cheats out there. Maybe I should have looked them up so I can get a bit further, but there we go. I didn't. So well, this is this is honest gameplay this time. Yes, well done. Sometimes it's sometimes it's good not to be honest. Boof. Da, 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 da. Oh, we go there, up there, up this tree. There's, there's not much foliage on these trees, is there? I think it must be winter. There we go. So it was good seeing that mini game thing. I don't know how we got there. Right, let's jump over this. Right, this way. Oh, come on, Nick. Got 17 seconds, which isn't isn't that big. Oh, that's it. That do. Look at those. Look at them skills. Over there. Time's not looking great. Four seconds. Oh no. Oh, this is close. Oh, my kingdom. For, oh, look at that. My kingdom for another life. One more life, and I would have got off that stage. Ugh. Anyway, I really like that game, as I say, good music, good movement, nice idea, and really well executed, great um, presentation. Um, thank you for having a look at that video as always. Uh, that was Terra Away Thomas on the Commodore Amiga, published by Global, Global, there's no such thing as Global, Global Software in 1992. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. And until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.